Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial, I will be telling you that how to upload image to Cloudinary website or web service inside your React.js application. So as you know that Cloudinary is a web service which allows you to upload uh, images and videos. So this is my Cloudinary console window and inside this we have it, this geeky images folder. So inside this folder I will be uploading images. So this is my React application here. You can see that this is the demo upload image. And this contains the input box of choose file. So as I click this button, this window will be uh, populated. Here I can select any image of my choice. Let's suppose I select this image, PNG image. So as you can see that this is loading here. So now it has successfully uploaded to the Cloudinary web server. And now I have got a successful response, JSON response. If I expand this, you will see the URL of the image. I can even right click and open this image in a new tab. So you will see that it, it has successfully uploaded to the Cloudinary web server. So this is a URL of that. And I can refresh it and also check it in the console as well. So if I just refresh it, you will see that this image is uploaded. So you can see that this is an image which is uploaded here. I can even get the download link as well. I can download the image as well like this. So your image will be downloaded. So if I open this image, you will see the same image that I uploaded to the Cloudinary web service in React. So in this way, you can just upload any sort of image to Cloudinary. Let me just repeat the process once again. So this, it is very simple. Choose a file. Let's suppose I choose this file loading. So you can see that. If I again refresh it, so these two images will be uploaded here. So in order to delete an image, it is pretty simple. Click the dustbin icon delete. So in order to delete the image which you have uploaded. And now in this video, I will be telling you from scratch that how to go about it. First of all, if you go, if you search on Google Cloudinary, the first link which comes in, this is a website. This is a SaaS company which allows you to upload the images and videos. So go to cloudinary.com and now you need to create account on that website. I have already created it. So just sign up for free. So after signing, signing up, you can just log in it onto your console. So this is a paid website. So you can just use their free trial. So as you get onto your console here, you will get this URL. This is my URL. So I will just copy this URL. So in this URL, we will make a post request to this URL. And apart from that, you also need to make some changes. Click the settings option, go to the settings. And here you need to go to the upload option like this, go to the upload option. And here you need to create this uh, uh, upload preset. So I have already created it. So I will just delete it and start from scratch. So here, click the, click this option that add upload preset. So after doing that, you need to give your preset a name. Let's suppose I give it as geeky images. And after that, you need to provide a folder name as well. So inside folder name, I will provide geeky images. That's it. And then you need not have to do anything. And the signing mode will be unsigned, not signed. So just select here, unsigned here. And then click on save. So after clicking the save option, now we just need to go to our uh, after doing that, just click the save options once again. And uh, that's it. You need not have to do anything much more about it. Now we can just make a react application. I have already made a react project. You can see that this is, let me just delete all the code here and start from scratch. So this is a functional component as you know. So we are exporting, we are exporting this component by writing export default app and uh, we don't want the logo and we also don't want the CSS. And the very first link which we want to do is that we need to import the React module. 
like this import react from the react library that's it so after doing that if you refresh your application nothing will be there the application will be empty so this is my application localhost 3000 so it is empty here so it is showing to me error nothing was rendered so I need to return something here so we can just return here hello world so basically this is a JSX expression as you know this is a functional component you can see that hello world is rendered out and now basically what we want we want a simple input field where we can upload our files so instead of this hello world what we can do inside this div we can have a heading which will be so inside this heading we can just see we can just write here upload image to cloudnary in react and also you can just give it a class name like this app so after this heading we can just have our uh, a simple input field the type will be equal to file as we are uploading mm -hmm. files and also we will be attaching a name attribute of file and a placeholder which will be equal to let's suppose upload an image and also we will be applying a on change so when the value changes inside this this function will automatically execute which is upload image so we will create this function so just close this so now we will have this input field so you will see that upload image is not defined so we need to define this function so right after inside your app function you need to define this function so just before this return statement we can define this const upload image so we are defining it inside ES6 convention so basically this will be an asynchronous function holding the event object so now if I define it the error will be gone here you can see that there is a choose file button if I click this option the file uploader window will be there so now what we want here is that we need to get the files which are selected by the user so we can declare a files variable inside this we can get e.target.files to get the files which have been selected by the user secondly we will be making a form data constructor new form data so after making this we need to append some things here so data.append so the first thing that we need to append is the actual file so the, this is located inside the files array so basically this variable is kind of a array so in order to get the file we will be getting the first reference which is 0 so indexing start from 0 in arrays so this will get the actual file which has been uploaded in, in case this is image the second thing we need to append is the preset that we created early on inside video so this has the property upload underscore preset so here we need to give the name of the preset that we created so in my case I give the name as geeky images so you can just check the name this is the name that you given geeky images so whatever name that you have given you can just pass here after that we need to create two variables first for the loading and second is the image so right here at the top we can create these two variables first will be loading and the second will be the function to set it so we just will this one will be set loading so we are using the use state hook for that use state hook so this is automatically being imported here on the top here you can see that so the default value of it will be false 
so we are providing this boolean value second variable we will set is the image image comma set image and again we will use the use state hook and this time the default value will be null like this so this will hold the url of the image so after invoking these two variables now we can set our loading set loading to false oh sorry set loading to true so we are changing this value from false to true and now we just need to make a simple get request to the api so we will use the fetch function so we will await this response as this is the async function we can use this await keyword inside it so we will use the fetch function in order to make a simple api request so inside this guys I, as i already told you this is my url that we will be making a request so just go to the dashboard so this is a link here you can see that this link will be different for you so don't copy mine so just copy this link and here you need to paste it and after that this will be similar for you slash image slash upload so this you can copy this text will be the same for every user but this url will be different so after providing the url we need to provide the method so what method this is so just put a comma here and this takes some object first is a method option so the method is post so we are making a post request not a get request and the third parameter is the data that you need to pass which is there inside the body parameter so we will pass this data variable that we have declared here like this so after this guys we just need to make this request so in order to get the data we can just make a file variable and we can just await the response and we can get the response inside json method response.json and now we can just console log is at as well console log file so the application is complete now in order to see the image let me just first of all get the response to check if it is working or not if i choose a file here and then let's suppose i want to upload this image and now you will see that this json response is returned to me so this is holding this secure url property so we need to capture this property and display this image inside this browser window so as i refresh this you will find that this has successfully uploaded this image to this folder you can see that now we just need to display this image inside this so this is pretty simple first of all we need to set this image url inside our react so we can use this use state function which is set image and pass this uh, file dot and there is a property which is secure url secure underscore url so after setting this we also need to set our loading from true to false like this and now we just need to make our template a if condition such that if the loading is false then we need to display the image so this is a jsx expression inside double curly brackets curly brackets so here we will just write loading question mark so if loading is uh, true in that case we need to show a heading h3 heading so which will have a text which is loading dot 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 and then we need to write colon if it is false then in that case we need to display our image so the image will be there inside the source parameter so this is there inside image variable and we can just give it a style property this is there inside double curly brackets we can just make the width of the image to 300 pixel like this we need to surround this in single commas single quotes and now we just need to close the image tag 
that's it so now the application is complete if i check it once again if i reload it choose file now if i want to upload this you will see that loading option is there and now this is the image that we have uploaded this is a response which has come from the api and if i check the cloudnary console you will see that this image will be uploaded right this you can see that this is the image so in this video we have seen that how to upload the images to cloudnary web service in react application so thanks very much guys for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button subscribe the channel and also tap the notification bell icon and i will be seeing you in the next video until then thank you very much